Okay, we're going to talk about drip emails and action plans. Now, I've already created a, an action plan here called Seller Task, and you can see that it's got five steps. I haven't added any subscribers to it. You know, when it's been updated last, uh, I could delete it, I could edit it, I could view all the steps. But we're going to come back to this uh, in a little bit. I first, I want to just start off with actually creating uh, a new drip email. So I'm going to click this button here. And I'm going to give it a name. Now I'm going to call this uh, General Buyers. And uh, you call it yours whatever you want to call it. Like, you know, maybe it's just new buyer leads or whatever your landing page leads, or, you know, whatever you want to call the campaign. And uh, so um, now, optionally, I can select one that I've already created or one from our templated system. We've only got a couple in here right now. We're going to add more as time goes on. But anytime you see the little care with the dashes here, that's going to be something from the system. And then you saw that, like, like I said, I already created one called Seller Test. It's on there. I could duplicate that and use that. And the reason why you do that is sometimes you might have a couple different campaigns you want to create, but there might only be one or two things that would really make a difference uh, between the two. So you could duplicate it and then just add a couple extra steps or take a couple steps out, you know, for whatever reason. So um, I'm going to select this one. It's only emails. There's 12 steps. You can mix and match emails and text messaging and tasks and all that kind of stuff in, in each one, but this one's just purely emails. And so I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to hit save. What it's going to do is it's going to duplicate that campaign. And you can see that they're all just emailing the customer, all 12 steps. And here's the days after. So this one after one day, this email will go out and then so on and so forth. Down to 80 days later, this email is going out. And this is the time of day they're going out. So um, I could edit this. For example, if I just clicked edit here, then uh, I can see that it's customer first name, comma, pay path to your dream home. Now, anytime you see things like this, uh, you know, that you uh, are in between the curly brackets, those are the short codes. And here's a list of short codes you have. You could put it uh, customer first name, customer last name, full name, agent name. And uh, so is what that's going to do is when the email goes out, it's going to replace um, this customer first name with you know Sally or Jim or John or whatever like it can then uh, um, and say you know and then after that I'll you know say the rest of the sentence here same thing here hello customer first name and if you slide down here it's going to automatically put your full name office name direct phone you always want to do that because if you uh, change your phone number for example like in your profile all the drips that are going out will automatically get that changed phone number otherwise if you or, you know, put the phone number actually in here and typed it in, then you'd have to go back through all your drip campaigns and try to change it everywhere. So it's just best to do it this way. And uh, so anyway, this is a tag. This is the actual email that'll go out. And again, you know, I could edit this email and change things if I didn't like, you know, some of the stuff it said. So um, and then up here, you also have an optional optional template you can choose from. You know, those are in the e under emails under the template designer. Like I created one called my general template. Uh, you know, and if I, you know, selected that, it would replace, you know, that email with that template. And then I could, you know, put whatever text I want in here instead. So um, that's, that's all you have to do. So like, let's say I want to create a new action. Like, you know, I could say add new action. And, you know, down here, it was 80 days of the last one. Maybe after 100 days, you know, I just, uh, I wanted to email the customer. Or I could say I wanted to email me. Maybe I got some kind of reminder. I want to email myself. And, uh... A little note saying that you know this person's end of the campaign or I want to text a customer or I want to text me um, or general task and in fact let's do that let's go ahead and say text me and I'm gonna change this instead of 100 days I'm gonna make it after 80 days okay so it's the same as the end there so and I'm gonna say for short codes I'm gonna say customer full name and well, I'm sorry, first you got to click in here before you select the customer full name, and then I'll put it in there. Um, email campaign has ended. And I'm going to say, you remind me, we're at 9 o'clock. And uh, um, again, I could change this time if I wanted to, and you know, maybe I'll, we'll make it 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to say save. And by making it 8 o'clock, it put it before this one because the other one is at 9 o'clock. So before that last one even goes out, I'm going to know, I'm going to get a text message sent to me saying that with the customer's well, full name, that their campaign has ended. And again, you know, if I wanted to, I could quickly change this and, you know, maybe I want to 
may actually make it after the campaign ended and hit save. And then you'll see now it's after that one. So first that email will go out, then I'll get a text message saying the campaign ended. And that's a good way for me to not be notified in case I want to go and maybe I want to drop them into the next campaign. Like, you know, I can, uh, um, you know, so I can keep, you know, keep contacting that person until they uh, email me or call me back. It's really important that anytime anybody does respond to any of these emails that went out or text message or anything, that you go into your contacts and remove them from that campaign. Because it just makes you look silly if you know you're you're you know you're talking to the person and all of a sudden the next email went out was this one looking for your perfect home and you've already discussed all this with them it just you know you just want to make sure you remove them from you know that campaign altogether so um so anyway, if i go back and uh you know the drip uh emails action plans here now you can see i've got the general buyers 13 steps again i don't have anybody in it um and i can delete it edit it or view it so if i click on the view this is nice it's a quick way for me to see all the emails so I don't have to go and try to click on edit each one so these are every email that's going to go out and um, you know with the subject line and you know that in on the far right hand side what days you know you know 35 days after I had the person in and uh, nine o'clock and um, so and then I can scroll down here and hit cancel so that's all there's to it as far as creating a campaign and again for the seller task I'll go ahead and view that now all that was was like you know, I, I was going to send a text message initially to the person uh, saying just want to say thank you again for listening with me and it's going to put agent full name so it'll be you know my name and uh, I do that right away like, like you know so as soon as I got that person they listed with me boom I'm dropping them in the campaign they're going to get that text sent to them right away and then you know, then I got tasks like, you know, get, you know, deposit to escrow, enter the listing in the MLS, uh, you know, um, update the personal listing status, set up an open house, like, you know, 14 days later, and this one was 10. Um, you know, these, like, I get made one day later, I'm going to do these things, you know, the first day, like, like you know, I'm not going to wait a whole day later to do it. But what's nice is sometimes maybe you got two or three or four listings going, which, you know, I hope you do, and you get busy or just life gets in the way sometimes. And you just, you had that escrow money and you had it in your, you know, your pocket, you meant to go to the bank and you just, you forgot. It's kind of nice maybe the next day to get a text message reminding you that. You know, like otherwise, like, you know, you can obviously just ignore the text message and say, hey, I already did that. Or I'm going to show you in the task manager in the back office that you're going to be able to go ahead and mark these tasks completed. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here and I'm going to go over into context real quick. And, uh, and I'm going to come back and show you what this upcoming schedule is in a second after I had, uh, um, I'm going to go to context. There's going to be a new column here that you haven't seen before, action plan. And I just put Sean Renner, Sean Investor, Sean Seller, whatever, and like, you know, uh, um, you know, just some different email addresses. And say, this is Sean Renner. Uh, like, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to put them in the general buyers. Um, you know, this is Sean Seller. I'm going to add them to the seller tasks. And so it's going to tell me, like, how, like you know, step zero. It's on step zero of 13. Like, you know, so nothing's been done yet. And... Um, you know the program's continually running on the server so this is going to get updated you know real shortly and uh, it'll say 1 of 13 and you know let's say 1 of 5 and uh, so right now you notice up here it says number of contacts sending drip emails 1 number of like you know contacts sending uh, drip SMS text messages 2 and that's because remember the general buyers that last um, step that we added was a text message to remind me that it'll send me Sean the Runner or Sean Runner um, campaign has ended. So so really there's two contacts getting SMS text messages and but only the one had only emails in it. So that's that's what's up there. Um, if I go back over to the emails to the uh, drip campaigns action plans I just want to show you the upcoming schedule and now you also see I got one active subscriber in here I got one active subscriber in here and if I say upcoming schedule now it's going to say you know on July 4th you know there's going to be uh, an email going out like like only one like I like, can you know and then the 10th and then the 17th and the 24th and, and it's just going to show me like, like basically the next seven emails are like you know going out so it just gives me a total of how many emails going out and um, same thing with SMS text messaging like you know how many of those are going out and I had two going out in the one day because that was when I was going to have the escrow money and put the thing in the MLS I made both you know, like to go out one day later which one day later would be you know tomorrow would be July 4th so today's the third and 
So anyway, it tells me I got two scheduled here. This is kind of important because I want to know how many emails I got going out because all the emails being sent out are going through your email provider. So um, we don't want you to get flagged as a spammer or something. So you you know you don't want you want to be careful with your provider and how many emails you're adding. But um, we've got some code built into the system to protect you from over going, go, you know, going over your limit. And you can override the limit under the email settings. And you know, if I went back over to emails and then email settings down here, you can override it. Like, like this is the daily limit saying only send out a maximum of 100 emails in any given day. Every provider is different. You know, you, you can look it up or call your provider or email them and ask them what the daily limit you have, um, or you can just Google it. And a lot of them are like 250, and then some are like 500. I've seen some at a thousand. So, a hundred you should be pretty safe. But you know, like again, if you want to override that, that's fine. But just be careful. You know, and uh, um, you know, like I said, check check with your provider. So if I go back to tasks here, um, I'm going to say upcoming tasks action. Uh, action plan task here. So if I click that, I can see like like that, you know, get deposit to escrow, um, you know, that's step number two in like, you know, of my seller tasks. And then enter the MLS, again, that was step three. Um, you know, update the listing status, that was step four, and this is step five. So um, like I said, let's say I was, I was looking in here and I noticed that, um, you know, I said get deposit escrow and get and enter the uh, listing in the MLS and say I've already done those. I can say you know what, mark that one complete, mark that one complete. That way I don't have to look at them in my upcoming tasks. And maybe I made a mistake there. Um, you know, I can say like you know I got buttons up here for all the incomplete one, which are these. I can say any upcoming completed ones like you know those were upcoming but they were already completed. Um, I can mark them not complete. And then if I go back and like look at all of them again, um, I can see that this one here is done. I, I marked the other one, you know, back to you know, you know that it was uh, uh, incomplete. So it gives you a way to filter through, you know, what you want to look at. Again, if I go here just to see what the ones that are upcoming that are incomplete, you know, I can do that. So um, just makes it nice. And again, you got the search over here. You can search through looking for customers' names or. Um, you know, whatever you want to search for, like, you know, the body of the message. So, um, and over here, it tells me what this is doing. If it's, if it's only going to text me or email me, because again, the, if we go back to drip email campaign to action plans, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to edit this one, for example, here, if I edit here and I say, add new action, every action that I add, like, like you know, off this drop down here, like, let's say general task here. Tasks always allow me to text and or email or none. I, I could just have it show up on that task manager um, or I, like I said, I can be reminded. So a lot of times you just want to put a lot of these tasks because if you have a lot of people in a lot of campaigns and you set up to like, you know, tasks for them and, you know, maybe you got like, you know, you know, five sellers you're working with, you might not want to be getting a lot of text messages sent to you constantly, so you might just want to log in Agent 3000, you know, each morning and kind of look at your upcoming tasks and mark things complete. So that's up to you and how you want to do that. But um, the uh, but like I said, anyway, you you have choices and you can mix and match whatever you want. For any text messaging, you have to set up a Twilio account, and it's real simple. And if you slide down here in the bottom, like under the automation section, you can just go to Twilio here, and there's a video at the top of that page showing you how to uh, um, set up that. It you know, it's, I think as right now, like like it's a dollar a month for the phone number. And then like 0 0.007 cents uh, last time I looked for each email or each text that went out. So it's it's relatively cheap, you know. So that uh, um, and then your emails, like I said, they're going to get sent out with your email account. Like, and you're going to set those up under the email settings. So hopefully that helps you. And uh, um, if you have any questions, again, we're always here. Uh, you can email us or call us or text us, whatever is convenient for you. Thank you very much.